Hello everybody. This video was almost titled Unknown Manufacturer Box Camera, but before I was about to give up and do the video anyway, I found more information. So this apparently is a Thornward Dandy number no. five. Uh, I found some pictures online and managed to find a 1905 Montgomery Wards catalog. Put the link uh, to where I found the catalog down below. Montgomery Wards, uh, I thought that was two names, like Sears and Roebuck, but it's not. There was a guy named Aaron Montgomery Ward, and he started Montgomery Wards in 1872, partnered with a guy named uh, Charles Thorne. So that's why this is the Thorn word, the dandy number five. My first guess is to the vintage of it. It has a Wallensack Jr. shutter. Um, probably about 1903 to 1911. Uh, I've seen dates 1901 to 1912, but I did find a Wallensack uh, catalog for 1912 that showed that they were replacing at least the name of the junior with the TIB. Um, I found online that it's approximately a 50th of a second measuring this one using kind of my standard uh, shoot it at 240 frames per second and average it over a whole bunch of uh, shutter actuations. This one's about a 30th of a second. I don't know if it's slower or if it was really a 30th of a second. Kind of a side note, uh, Andrew Wallensack, the guy who designed this shutter, he, he started out working for Bausch & Lomb, which is still an optical company, and he invented at least their version of the iris diaphragm, where it has the blades that come and go instead of a waterhouse stop where you're just clicking different sized holes in front of it. The lens, according to the catalog, is a special high-grade double combination. I think that means it's a two-element lens, but I would not bet the farm on it. The apertures here with this dial go from 16 to 256, but those are not f-stops. That's given in the universal or what I've sometimes seen as the uniform system, the U.S. system. Thankfully, they do overlap f-stops and the U.S. system at f-16. So at f-16, I measured uh, the diameter of the aperture opening. It came out to 8.5 millimeters. So using the calculation for an f-stop, came out to a focal length of 100. 36 millimeters. Now that seems like a mild telephoto, but this guy takes four by five. It was originally designed for glass plates. They have a diagonal of 163 millimeters. So using the ballpark of the diameter of your film frame equal to the focal length is about a normal lens. So if this guy is 136 millimeters and the diagonal is 163, this actually comes out to be slightly wide-angle lens. Um, there are hidden buttons. There's one right here to open this piece, and then there's one on the back for opening your film chamber. It's a little bit stiff, and I don't want to break it because this guy is over 100 years old. I got three film holders with it, um, two of this type with this sliding lock piece here. It's got the dark slides, and then just uh, I have my black paper in there. I was trying to approximate the thickness of the glass plates using other films. And then I got one that is a different type. It has these little twisties for each side. And this one I put some uh, hobby store felt on it because I was getting some light leaks. And... This one still has the double tape on it. These are the actual, I got two glass plates in it when I got the camera. Couldn't see anything. I did try to process them. I got nothing, so I assumed that these were opened a bunch of times, or it was just too old, or I didn't really know what I was doing. 
all of those are likely things. So this one's slightly thicker, but it has springy clips down in here. I'll try and include some uh, photos of the interior. I have not tested close focus for this camera, although I know it's good for six, seven feet. I took uh, this Instax picture of our old lawnmower. Um, this other Instax picture of a stray cat, it was just double taped in there, and I didn't notice when I pulled out the dark slide, the frame, the Instax frame, fell out. So I think this is a stray cat in the neighborhood. I also took some pictures using uh, some Arista print paper that I use in pinhole cameras a lot. It's about ISO 6. And then I also have some Arista EDU Ultra, I think, uh, 4x5 film. Uh, that's ISO 100. So I shot a few frames of that. And I got some decent results once I did the felt on the film holder and I wasn't getting such bad light leaks. The shutter has instant, which like I said is about a thirtieth of a second. Uh, it's got bulb where it's open as long as you hold it. It also has time where you click it once, it's open, click it against, again it's shut. And I used a piece of uh, tubing and my duster bulb and it seems to work pretty good. I had to clean a bunch of crud out of this pneumatic barrel here. But after I did that, it seems to be pretty good. You have to give it a quick... You don't want to go slow or else it just kind of hangs up. But a quick blip with it and it'll work the shutter. I'm not sure. This may be the oldest camera that I've shot with. And even given that it's... It could be as recent as about 1912. It's over 100 years old, so that it actually works is pretty amazing. Uh, before I forget, obviously it has a tripod socket, has another one here on the side, and it's got two separate uh, viewfinders for whether you're in landscape or like it is now in portrait mode. Still got the original handle. That's it, it's supposed to have a little uh, metal rod here to hold this plate. That part's missing and there was, I think it was just a sticker. The little name plate was supposed to be inside the film chamber where I wish it had that because then I would have known right away it was the Thornward Dandy number no. 5. And this camera also has the distinction of being the 200th different kind of camera that I've shot with. So the 200th camera. Because I don't count if I have, you know, two copies of an XA or something and I shoot with those. That's one kind of camera. So to that way of counting, this guy is number 200. So I've got some other cameras uh, that are actually in line. I jumped this one ahead of a couple of them. So until I get those uh, processed and shoot the videos, I will see you then.